Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic for another edition. And uh, this one's an interesting puzzle. This was sent to us by Scott Strosal, who um, has not only sent us three or four um, Sudokus that we've used before, but also uh, did a puzzle hunt for us as well, which was very popular. Now, Scott's come up with an idea here that is fascinating. This is a form of killer Sudoku. But instead of the regular numbers in the cage um, corners telling you how much the cage adds up to, what you have instead is some letters. Now these letters represent three different things. Either P for prime, NP for non-prime, or S for square. Now the really interesting thing is that that's not just a reference to the cage totals, but also to every individual di digit within the cage. So, for instance, in this in this cage, there's two numbers, and they must both be prime, and their total must be prime as well. Now, the normal um, repeating digits rule does not apply here. So digits can repeat in cages, as long as they're obeying normal Sudoku rules, which do apply. Um, and that's what we've got, a weird partial killer with three types of cages. So do have a go on the link below the video. Um, I'm going to give it a try now, so let's get cracking. So what we have to kind of decide is what are the square numbers? Well, they're 1, 4 and 9. What are the prime numbers? 2, 3, 5 and 7. Now, I don't think that that means the non-prime numbers, no, in fact, they're not just six and eight, they can include the square numbers as well. You can tell that because this cage is three big and they're all in the same um, region, the same box. So they have to be three different numbers. So it can't just be six and eight. So how the heck do we get going? I mean, I suppose we could fill every cell of all the square cages, and there's only three, with one, four, or nine. Could do the same for the primes. Ah, okay, here's something from a two cage, a two cell prime cage. Yeah, that's quite interesting. Obviously, any prime number that's more than two is odd. Now that means that to make this up of one prime and another number, one must be odd and one must be even. There's only one even prime and that's two. So yeah, this prime cage, let's start with this one actually. That's got a two in it and a prime number. Um, so let's put that in the corner. There's definitely a two and it must go with a, actually it must go with either three, five or one, yeah. 2 and 1 is 3, 2 and 3 is 5, 2 and 5 is 7. Now it can't go with 2 and 7, because that would make 9, which isn't prime. And it can't go with 9, because that isn't prime and can't go in the cage. Right, but anyway, we know there's a 2 in that one. We know there's a 2 in this one, but it can't be in this box, because we've already used the 2. So this must be a 2. Number in the grid. On a difficult puzzle. This must similarly be 1, 3 or 5. And here's another two cell prime cage. So the two must now be here. And this one is one, three or five. Um, now in a four cell prime cage, one of those must be two as well. Uh, yeah, because if you had four odd numbers, that would give you an even total, which couldn't be prime. So one of these two is a two. Sudoku rules determine it can't be here or here. Um, okay, well that's something. There's another four cell cage here. Same thing must apply. They can't all be odd or else it would add to an even number. So that one is the two. So we really are getting some twos done. And what about this five cell cage? They could all be odd, surely. In fact, either they're all odd or there are two twos. There could be a two there, 
and a two there. Not th not in the top cell because of the two possibilities here. So either those are twos or every cell in this cage is odd. I do not know how to notate that. Maybe it's best I try and remember it. Ah, oh, here's another four cell P cage. So it's got to have a two in it for the same reason. And that's got to be in one of these two cells. Okay, so we are actually getting things done that for a while, for a moment, I didn't think we could. Now, what about these? Oh, there's an, no, that's, sorry, I thought I'd seen another two cell cage, but that's the five. Right, I mean, the non-primes just don't seem very useful at this stage. They're, surely they're going to be kind of finishing off numbers. Well, mind you, I say that, they can't include two, threes, five, or seven in. So they've got to be made of one, four, six, eight, and nine. I mean, yeah, that's not very helpful. What about the sum of these squares? So they can't add up to one. They can't add up to four. Could they add up to nine? Actually, yes. Four, one, four would do it. Can they add up to 16? That would use one, nine. No, they can't. 25? No, far too much, even with two nines in there. So this is 414, it must be. Okay, that's good. What about this one? Five cells. Um, right, it can't add up to nine. Could it add up to 16? Surely not. I mean, it couldn't use a nine then. In fact, these three, these have to be 9, 4, and 1. That's a triple. So that is already 14. I suppose you could have 1 there and 1 there with a 1 here. That would make 16. Okay, 14 plus 11 to get to 25. No way from those two. And plus whatever it is to get to 36. No way. So it must be this 1... 1-1 one, one arrangement with a 4-9 in the other two cells. I'm sure that's right. So, this, there are not ones in all of these cells which are seen by this one. So I can take them out. Um, there's not a one in that either. In fact, one there, one there, that can't be a one because it's in a non-prime cage got a one up there, one there, one there. One is not a, oh, one, can one be a non-prime? Yes, but sorry, one can be a non-prime. So that was foolish, okay, but it can't be a prime, so it's not in that one. In fact, one is in that non-prime cage. Okay, can we, we can't, we didn't get anywhere on deciding if those are both twos, but I am trying to remember that that is a possibility. Crikey, what? Oh, right, four primes in a, in a straight line. So obviously they're two, three, five, and seven, and they add up to 17, which is prime. And the same is true down here. God, I'm missing some basic assumptions. Now these don't have to be two, three, five, and seven, because they could have a repeated digit. Um, I don't know whether we can assess that much at the moment. That's not a four. Um, six, eight, and nine in these three are. Oh. So six and eight is 14, that would work. Six and nine is 15, that would work. But eight and nine does not work. So six must be in those cells. This is not, this one's not a six. But it could be six and eight. Yeah, that would work. Oh, interesting. Okay, what else? Now these, okay, I, they're not, this is not necessarily two, three, five, and seven. But it, in, okay, what do, no, I can't really test all the possibilities of this being three, five, or seven, that one can't be a two actually. But why I've filled those in is these are made up of the only numbers that can go in these cells are two, three, five, and seven. 
Now, what have we got along here? We've got a one, three or five. No, that's not a useful triple. Um, ah, these are made up of four, six, eight or nine. Actually, look, we've got four and nine in this row as a dub, as a pair. So that's six and eight, right? 14 there. This isn't six or eight now. 14 plus 4 is 18, or plus 9 is 20, is 23. That's not a non-prime. It's a prime. Ha! Lovely, lovely. That's so neat. Um, this is a prime, 3, 5, or 7. 1, 2. Those are not 2. Yeah. Ah, oh, 4, 4. Just regular Sudoku, we get a 4. And then we get a six, eight, nine triple by the same means. Now these are all prime. So they're from two, three, five, and seven. And we worked out that if there were two twos, they'd both be there. So these are not twos. Six, eight, nine. So one is one of these two. Um, two, three, five, seven, six, eight, nine. Right, how do we make some progress now? So this, right, the non-prime numbers are one, four, six, eight, nine. So in this row, we've used one, four. So these are six, eight, or nine, and they form a triple with that one. So this is three, five, or seven at the end. Yeah, surely. I mean, that could be 168 or 9. This could be any of those numbers. I can't do the maths there. I mean, so many of the possible totals will be non-prime. That can't be helpful. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to have to add up the possible totals here, aren't I? So, if it had two twos, that would be 4. And we would then add um, either... 8, 10, or 12 from those, taking us to 12, 14, or 16, and then another 3, 5, or 7, taking us from anywhere from 15 to tw 15 to 23. And which ones are prime? 17, 19, and 23. I mean, that's, that's quite a lot of possibilities. And then, of course, there's the possibility that these aren't twos. Wow. Okay, then this would be three, five, seven. Oh, that's quite interesting. That would be 15. These would both be from three, five, and seven. So they'd be either eight, 10, or 12. So we'd get to 23, 25, or 27. It would have to be 23 then, if the twos weren't in this. I don't know how to use that. 3, 5, and 7. It would have to be 23, so that's 15. This would have to be 3 and 5. But the other way around, if the 2s were in it, there seem to be a lot of possibilities. Wish I could determine whether they... why or how there is or definitely isn't a 2. Let's have a look at the other twos. Two and two there, and that restricts two up here to one of these two cells. Oh, that's not a two, is it? Four, one, two. Fourteen, eight. Done that. Oh, now this pair. Non-prime, so it's not nine, eight. It's not... Well, there's not much that it's... It's not 9-4 either. But it could be 9-6. Or two even numbers. This is 4 or 9. Oh, and it's not... Look, I've done the 9 there. How long has that been available? A long time. Okay, now it can't be 9-8. So one of them's a 6. Okay, so that's looking up at this cell. So that's an 8. Surprise, surprise, I got another digit. And therefore, eight's not in there. That's six and nine. Six, nine, four, one, two, eight in this box must be here. 
this is three, five, or seven. Now we've got a two, three, five, seven quadruple, so this is six, eight, or nine. Gives us a six, eight, nine triple in the box. Four must be here. That puts four here, four here. That puts one here. Now we've got an interesting cage going on. Is there anything? No, I've done all the fours. Okay, five plus. That can only be six, because these the population of non-prime digits is one, four, six, eight, nine, and that's looking at all the others. So this is eight or nine, and hopefully one of those would make a prime. 10, 11, if it was eight, it would make 19. So it's nine. Ha! Oh. So this is eight. Those aren't eight. This is one. It's looking at all the other non-primes. This isn't one. Now, these can't be six, eight, and nine. Oh, yes, they could be. That would add up to 24. That's fine. Ah, oh. That's not eight. So one of these is eight. So we've got a one and an eight. That's nine. Can we have another eight? That would be 17 plus nine. So it could be eight, nine, eight. I don't know, there just seems so many possibilities still. Let's have a look at this column. Ah, oh, look, we've got a 357 triple. So those are from 6, 8, and 9. Actually, that's from 6, 8, and 9 as well, because it's in a non-prime cage and 1 and 4 have been used. So that's from 3, 5, and 7. I'm beginning to wonder if colouring would have helped here. Now, 4 plus... The trouble is I don't know which of six, eight, or nine. So it's not likely to help much there, so that's difficult to use. Ah, oh, that one has decided where one goes in this box. That's good. This is one of two, three, five, or seven. Quite likely to be two. But that would mean this was the all-odd version of this box. Um, do I know anything about the possibility of two here? Not really. Ah, oh, eight and eight. I can place an eight. That's unlikely to help me at the moment. It means one of these is an eight. Don't know which one. Four, six, nine, eight. That's from three, five, or seven. And that's from two, three, five, or seven. But that has given us a three, five, seven triple. So these are from six, eight, nine. I'm beginning to think coloring really would have helped. But anyway, we are where we are. Four, six, eight, nine, triple in column two as well. Not really helping. Although actually this can't be one at the top anymore. Um, one of those is a one. Oh, no, this is madness. Why have I started like this? I said that this prime cage could contain a one and it can't. So the one is there. One is not a prime number on its own. Whatever you may think about that mathematically, that is the rule. So let's take one out. So we've got the one there. So this is one. Ah, maybe we can do something with this sum now. One plus four is five. Um, nine and eight would make 22. That's fine. Nine and six would make 20. That's fine. Eight and six would make 19. That's not fine. So there's definitely a nine there. So that's not nine. Um, these are from two, three, five, and seven. So that's a triple. So this is either six or eight. Eight, six, nine, four. That's from two, three, five, or seven. So they're all done for this column. So these are part of six, eight, and nine. 
but that's not 8 because one of those two is 8 well and because of 8 there and that's 2, 3, 5 or 7 so I've got possibilities for every cell now I mean I, have I got to work out what this is 5 or 7 <sighs> probably have 2 could be there and there or there and there so actually that can't be a 2 oh and that's interesting yeah because of the way that 2's work either there and there or there and there that's not a 2 there is only one possibility for 2 in column 1 so 3 5 pair there gives us a 7 I don't think this is going to lead to me suddenly disambiguating that difficult box, the difficult cage, but at least we are restricting the numbers a bit. Hmm. Three, five, seven. This is a tricky puzzle to get towards the end on. I mean, this has been hard throughout. Oh look, a three five pair in the row, so that's seven, and that's not three five pair in that row, so that's seven. There was a more straightforward Sudoku way of doing that. Oops, I didn't use. Never mind. Get rid of the sevens there. Seven must be in the top row here now. Oh, that does look interesting because that can't be seven. Nor can that. One of these is seven and one of them's a two. So that's a two seven pair. This must be a three five pair. That's a seven. So suddenly, okay, one of these is a seven. It takes out one possibility for these two numbers. A seven, I say. Um, so these aren't sevens. Okay, so let's think again. Two and two there is four. This now includes a seven here. So that is 11. Then we can have a four or a five or a three to take it 14 or 16 plus three, five or seven. So it goes up to anywhere between 17 and 23. Still 17, 19 and 23 are all possible. How frustrating is that? That's not a seven. Um, I don't know where the seven is down here. Oh. Just don't know. I hope I'm not going to have to make a list of the possible fillings for this box because I, for this cage, I do not want to have to do that. Let's have another quick look at this one, which has a one and then three digits, which can include a repeat from six, eight, and nine. But all it's got to add up to is a non prime. I, there's just too many possibilities for that. One, four, two, seven. One of those is a two. Uh, one of these two is a two. That's not very helpful either. No, wait. Oh, no. Yeah, we just don't know. Two. Let's say none of these were twos. So this is all odd. Then we have. 3, 5, and 7, that's 15. These two would have to include, they can't be 3 and 5, so they include a 7 if that's the case. 15, 22, and either 3, which would make 25, or 5, which would make 27, and that's impossible. Ah, so the 2s are in this cage. Brilliant. Oh my goodness, that felt like pulling teeth or something. Absolutely vicious. Right, two there. So we know, that couldn't have been a two. We know how this two seven sorts itself out now. We can place seven here, not there, not there either. 
Um, so in fact, this is a seven now. And now we've got two, four, 11. These could be the same though. In fact, they're, I know, interestingly, whether that's three or a five is gonna make that a three or a five. Well, if that's a three, that's a three, and that's not. So these are gonna to have to be different. Same is true if that's a five, that's a five, and that's not. So these have to be different, this three and five, which 11, 14, 19 adds up to a prime. Okay, that's fine. I don't know how to encapsulate that they have to be different in the marking, but I'm gonna to have to try and remember that now. Um, Oh, where have we got to? Where have we got to? Three, five, one, two, seven, four. Surely some, I'm missing something now. I've surely done enough to be on the home straight, but I can, oh, look, that eight. I don't know when that happened. That's resolved that nine. That fixes the six, nine. Those can't be nine. Now this could get interesting. One, 14, 15. This can't be an eight, that would make 23. It could be a six or a nine, but that means eight is here. Let's get rid of the pencil mark eight. Yes, that fixes this cell as a six. That makes this an eight, nine pair. Let's just check the math, 17, 18, 22, that's fine. Put six here and here. Oh, it doesn't resolve which of those is a six. Six and eight. Ah, oh, still gonna need to sort that one out. Still gonna have to sort this box out, this cage. I mean, right, three or five there. So this definitely includes a seven and a two. Um, so nine plus three or five is 12 or 14, plus another three or five is 15, 17 or 19. Now it can't be 15, because that's not prime, so it can't be both threes. Um, if there was a three in there and a three in there, that's not possible but it could both be fives, which does look possible, or it could be a five and a three. Uh, how I can't notate that either. I don't know a way of doing it. Oh, that's not two anymore. In fact, that's not seven either. That's three or five. In fact, that's a three, five pet. So that's not three or five, and that's not three or five. And I don't think that helps at all. Um, three, five, no. <sighs> ah, this is a two cell non-prime, but that could still be eight or nine. That can't be six anymore. Ah, so in this box, one of these must be six. Oh, we knew that, yeah, I knew that. I knew that. Now I'm deleting the wrong marking, that's six and eight. Oh, that nine means that's an eight, right. That's a nine. That's not nine. Nine, in fact, that's eight, that's nine. That fixes this as six, so that sorts out the eight, six. Just three fives left in these three left-hand boxes, and maybe that pattern is gonna repeat everywhere now. Just three fives left, I'd settle for that now. Oh, still two sevens to resolve up here. Right, so we know those two are different. Is that all we know about three fives? Can't see anything else that's disambiguating them. Am I really gonna have to work with that, that these two are different? I mean, they have to be different anyway, because that has to be the same as that. What am I missing here? Um, oh, this one is tricky. 
So, whichever way they work, these are all the same amongst three fives. Ah, oh, yes, okay, that is the same, and that is three or five, so that can't be two. That surely is the finishing point. Although, to disambiguate the three fives, I'm going to still have to come back to something. Okay, but look, what I'm saying is, whatever's in this cell, because of the three five pair here, has to be the same as that. The same as that, the same as that, the same as that, um, the same as that, 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 and crucially that. So that has to be three or five and cannot be a two. So two is there. That fixes two down here. It fixes the sevens in both boxes as well. This one can't be a seven, so we're just left with nine, three, five pairs now. <laughs> I haven't resolved a single three or five. We know they're different in this one, but both of these cages can have either. This one has both, this one has both. How do we resolve them? This cage, yes. Oh, it's so clever. This has to be a prime total, and these have to be the same. And we worked out earlier, they can't both be threes. They must be fives. If they were both threes, this would add up to 15, which is not a prime total. Instead, they're both fives. It adds up to 19. And that means we can fill in all the rest of the fives. My goodness, what a puzzle. I love it. I love it. I really hope you had some sort of struggle like me in this puzzle as well, because that is a bit of a masterpiece from Scott Strosal. Um, thank you so much, for Scott, for sending that. Sorry it's taken us a while to get around to, but it was worth the wait. What a puzzle. Three there. I'm going to hit the check function. It looks good to me too. My goodness, that's a great puzzle. Thanks very much for sending it, Scott. Um, I do hope uh, that you had fun with it. And I thank you very much for sticking along in there with me and watching that solve. Really entertaining puzzle. Hope to see you soon again on Cracking the Cryptic. Bye for now.